Hey guys, it's Milo, and today we're finally going to start working on the fort. I've actually started digging in the ground for the fort, so it's going to have like a stone floor and it's going to be really high quality. I'm planning on making it like a semi-permanent shelter, so it's going to last a very long time. And I've been doing a lot of off-camera work. I made a sawhorse, which is behind me, and I also made this other workbench, which is for shaving the bark off of the logs. And I made a fire pit and like a rock path. So I have done a lot of work in the past week or two and I'm really excited to start working today. So let's get straight into it and I'm gonna start digging out the floor, which is gonna take a very long time. But uh, I'm gonna put off like maybe an hour or two today to dig out the floor and we'll see how much more work I'll have to do. Thankfully, it's been raining a lot, so the ground is very soft. And where I'm building this new fort, there isn't that many rocks in the soil too, because it's right next to a valley. So hopefully, uh, it's gonna be pretty easy to dig this hole. I already started working on about half of it, and I have the ground very loose. And I think about like an hour or two today would definitely be enough work. And I also have a big pile right there where I'm putting all of the dirt. So by the end of this, it's going to be a huge pile of dirt. And I'm going to have a lot of extra dirt to spare when I'm building other things. Which is going to be pretty nice. I might be able to wet the dirt and then put it in the cracks of different builds. To help seal it up like clay. Uh, I'm not really sure if that would work. But I might as well give it a try. I just hit one of my first rocks, and it's not a very big rock, but that's about like the second or third rock that I've found already, which is really good. Because in the last place that I built the fort, there was rocks like every inch, and it was really hard to dig it up. So as I'm doing this, I've noticed that you really want to put all of your body weight onto the shovel to drive it into the ground. Because if you don't do that, then you're going to be wasting a lot of energy. So for example, if I try and put it in the ground myself and then put a foot on it, it's going to take basically twice as long than if I just put it on top of the ground and then jump on it. Guys, I gotta say this is some very tiring work, but I'm very close to being done. I'm happy about that, and I will have to dig a bit deeper, but I'm guessing that the top layer of the ground is the hardest because there's more roots in it, but once I get deeper, it's hopefully gonna be a bit softer. But I will end up going down to the stream nearby to wash off some of my dishes because I did have some friends over last time and we ate some chili. It was pretty good, but I don't want it to get too rotten. There is a little bit of leftovers that's been sitting out. I have been doing like one episode a week, which is pretty reasonable. I've been pacing myself, but when I feel like I get more subscribers, I will start uploading a bit more. Thankfully, I'm finally done digging out that hole. That took a very long time. I actually timed it. I think it took a bit over an hour, but I did check Instagram a couple of times. It took one hour and 10 minutes. So yeah, that is quite a while. 
Um, but I'm finally done, thankfully. I still have to dig in a few more layers deep into the ground. But I got the top layer done, and that's all I'm going to do for today. So let's just go down by the stream, wash out the dishes, and I'm going to collect some wood. So I cleaned a couple of dishes already, but the stream water is cleaning it, but since it's cold water, it's not cleaning off the fat and the grease. So it's still really nasty, and also I don't think the stream water is very clean. And as you can see, this pan right here is really burnt, and I'm having trouble getting the burn marks off. So I'm just gonna bring the pans home and clean them there. So I just collected two long pieces of wood and one of them is a tiny bit rotten and broken so I'm going to saw the end off of that and I'm probably going to collect a couple more pieces of wood. That was a nice cut. That's it for today's video. If you guys like this video, then please feel free to like and subscribe. Please support me if you enjoyed this, and peace out, guys. Thank you for watching.